With the latest release of Plasma 5.9 comes an exciting new feature that will allow you to customize your desktop and create brand new look and feel themes that you can upload to the KDE store. So today we're going to take a look at how we do that. So we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to install one package that's going to allow us to create and edit our theme. Once that's installed, we can go to the menu and type in Plasma Look and Feel Explorer. So once that's open, you'll notice on the left hand side that there's a drop down menu with all of the currently installed Look and Feel themes. There's a new theme button, which we'll use to create our new theme, and an open theme folder, which is a shortcut to the currently selected theme. On the right hand side, you'll see all the information about the theme, including a screenshot. There's also a layout from current Plasma setup and a defaults from current setup button that we're going to use when we're going to create our new theme. So let's start creating a new theme. Now the theme plugin name is the name of the folder that the theme will reside in and then you have the theme name. We're going to we're going to name these both Charger because that's what I want my theme name to be. And the rest of the information you can fill out the way you want to, but every line has to be used in order for you to highlight the OK and actually click it. It'll tell you that the plasma layout successfully duplicated but you're still seeing the information from the old theme, so we have to select our theme again. So now you're seeing our information. But we're missing a screenshot. So we're going to use one of the other new features of Plasma 5.9, and that's dragging our screenshot directly from the notification window. Now we have our screenshot, we have our information, and we have customize our desktop by adding a, a desktop theme, a color scheme, and moving the panels around, adding another panel, and we're ready to save our theme. All right, so the layout from current Plasma setup creates a JavaScript file that when you're in the look and feel themes, there's a checkbox that says use desktop layout from theme. If that is checked, it'll execute the JavaScript file that I'm going to create right now. If you didn't move your panels around, you don't actually have to use that. If you just changed an icon and the color scheme, it's not necessary. But if you did change any of the panels around, you need the JavaScript file. The defaults from the current setup will create a config file which will save the settings for the widget style, color schemes, icons, and so on. So we're going to click that and hit save. And now we have created our new theme. So we're going to click on open theme folder. We're going to take a look at what's inside. So the contents has the layouts, which has the JavaScript file. The previews has the screenshot and the defaults config. Now the only other file in here is the metadata.desktop file which we're going to open up and we're going to actually add some dependencies. So like I said, I have changed the desktop theme to Glassified and I have also changed the color scheme to Elementary Luna Colors. So in order for me to upload this to the KDE store, I have to let it know what dependencies this takes so that when somebody downloads it, they can get the same items. All right, so here is the two dependencies that I have for this theme. You have the dependencies line, and then you have the protocol for the actual dependency. Now the protocol can be anything from color schemes, plasma themes, plasmoids, wallpaper, mouse cursors, and so on. The next part of it is the actual URL to the content. So this part will never change. This is the most important part, which is the ID number. So for example, Glassified has the ID number. Any of the themes that you go to have the ID number at the end of the web address 
on the KD store. This is the particular ID number for Glassified, and this is the particular ID number for Luna Colors. So I have added the ID for my color scheme, which is Elementary Luna Colors, and for the desktop theme itself, Glassified, I've added that line as well, separated by a comma. Once I hit Save, those items are saved in there, and we have successfully created our theme. And we can go into System Settings, and Workspace Theme, and Look and Feel, and we can see that our theme is created. But I think we need to test it out first to make sure that all of the dependencies have been met in order to upload it to the KDE Store. So we're going to compress this here. And I'm going to save this out of this folder. And we're going to delete that. So that's gone from our system. And basically all I'm going to do is test it to make sure that it's going to work on the KDE Store. So we're going to open up a terminal, and we are going to tell it what theme that we're looking for. And it's now actually going to look on the KD store and make sure everything is right. So it found all of the themes that we used, the color scheme and the uh, desktop theme, and it's successfully installed. So we have created our new theme and it is ready to upload to the KDE store. So let's take a look at it and try it out. Let's switch to this one. Now again, this box generates that or executes that JavaScript file. So we want to make sure that's checked because we want to feel exactly what the developer of the theme wanted for this theme. So here we have a panel on the left, we have our full screen launcher, panel on the top, and a panel on the right. If we don't check this, none of these panels will change. It'll change to the color, but it won't change the actual location and layouts of the panels. So now let's look at our theme that we created. So once that's checked, we hit apply and we are back to our theme. And we have successfully created and tested the new Look and Feel Charger theme. And that is one great feature of Plasma 5.9.